the bright lights and flavor that Miami has to offer. It's a road game for the Thunder, and they're facing an interconference matchup in today's game. We're in Miami for some heat basketball. This hometown crowd ready to go. The excitement of the NBA is on the way. I'm Kevin Harlan, joined by Doris Burke courtside. Next to me, Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr in the booth. So here's Oklahoma City's starting group. Ran outside at the three with Ibaka playing the power forward. Deion Waiters is out there with Russell Westbrook. And it's Adams in at the center position. And Steve, Kevin Durant, truly one of the best scorers, and the statistics would show that league-wide every year, and, and last season's MVP. Well, he's improved his game in pretty much every category, whether it's rebounding, ball handling, passing, defense. Incredible to see a player who was already historically great just take his game to another level. Battles through traffic and lays it in. Durant's got five now going to be tough for the defense today if he's got his A game rolling here tonight we'll see let's go quickly over to Doris Burke for an update Kevin I had a chance to talk with head coach Eric Spolstra we talked about their strategy on how to contain Russell Westbrook and he told me that Russell's at his best in the open floor to counteract that they'll try to make sure they get back on defense in a hurry and limit his chances to get out in transition and start setting up his teammates or throwing down dunks Neither is a good option for them. Thanks again, Doris. That drops. Kevin Durant. That's now eight Durant. points for Kevin Durant. A good open look, and he splashes home the three. On defense, the Thunder. Six-point game. Rogic kicks to Wade. Rogic a screen on Waiters. Wade outside. And it's Bosch in the corner. Six on the shot clock. Dang with the bucket. These two just going at it from deep now. You know, it seems like what's going on here is anything you can do, I can do better territory. Now here's Waiters. From downtown, Durant, no good. The Heat have gone two or three here to start off the game. Wade dishes to Dragic down low. Dang. And the bucket counts, and he's on his way to the free throw line. Try to make it a three point play. Got a lovely use of the bounce pass there. Perfect feed. Luau Dang is the definition of a game. He averaged over 38 minutes a game over the last five seasons with the Bulls. Played with a fractured thumb, torn ligaments in his wrist. He always goes all out at both ends every time he's on the court. That's like a layup for him. He's just wide open out there. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. Wade passes to Bosch. Here's Whiteside. Takes it off the glass. You got to put bodies on the glass right there. They, they just are not getting it done on the boards. Yeah, they've got to do a much better job of going harder than that to the glass. And when you talk about the physical toll for Ding playing those long minutes, tremendous discipline and dedication to keep his body ready to go. You know, his hard work and leadership has to be missed by the Bulls on and off the court. And it's Wade penetrating. Can't hit from in close. You see the defenders get out of his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the bucket, but not that time. For three, Durant kept alive. The kick out to Westbrook. From the arc. Kevin Durant again from deep. Durant's got 17. Tell you what, until this defense gets out and defends the three-point line, I mean, it's going to be a parade. Yeah, we've already seen three in a row from out there. And Verdang back in the 2013 playoffs, he tried to practice through complications from a spinal tap. You don't hear that very often. That was a life-threatening condition. And Kevin, he was unhappy with his care during that incident. And Said nobody from the Bulls checked up on him at the hospital, so I think that cast a real cloud over their ensuing contract negotiations. Anderson, he's checked in for Whiteside. Here's Dang, count it from 12. Eight points for him. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Now here's Westbrook. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Durant for three. Good. Nice assist from Westbrook. This looks like a pregame shoot around with all the threes they're allowing. Yeah, I don't know, Clark. I think there might be even more defense in warmups. I mean, this is kind of embarrassing. Now here's Dragic. Leaves it in without an inch of room around him. Dragic has got his first two points. 
Oklahoma City leading by six. It's Durant on the wing. He's covered by Dang outside Westbrook. Dang against Durant. Fade away. And again, Oklahoma City with the triple. Man, he's got a tremendous ability to knock it down from deep. I mean, that's a big time triple. Well, it gets harder and harder the, the deeper you go out there. So, I mean, he's got great touch uh, from that kind of range. That's impressive. And here's Dragic following the three from Kevin Durant. They get the rebound out to Wade. No luck. Nice D from Durant. Thunder have gone 8 of 10 shooting, coming out very strong. Pushing their lead to double digits. Durant's got 25 points in the game. Oh, you got to like his shot selection today. He set a good example for the rest of his teammates. Here's Dang. He takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. You know, he's knocking down his shots today, but he hasn't really translated to the scoreboard yet. Here's Waiters. Oklahoma City the rebound. Second chance shot. And it's Durant, that time on the assist from Ibaka. And that's now 27 points for Kevin Durant. The Heat trail by 11. The kick out to Dragic. Puts it up from 12, and it's blocked by Ibaka. And that's out of bounds. Miami will retain possession. A different look for Miami. Adonis Hassel is checked in for Bosch. Josh McRoberts comes in for Lou Aldang. And it's Chalmers in for Goran Dragic. And a new group in here for the Thunder. Nick Collison's checked in for Adams. Jones comes in for Serge Ibaka. Singler, he's checked in for Kevin Durant. And Anthony Morrow is subbed in for Deion Waiters. The Thunder leading by 11. Outside Westbrook. Tries a three, and he gets it to go. Westbrook's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. It has taken them no time to build this lead up on the, the strength of a, a great first quarter offensively. And they need to continue to put pressure on the defense and try to really run away with this one from here. You know, he'll make you scratch your head and throw your hands up as a defender. I mean, you just don't know how to play. The first quarter concludes in a double-digit lead on the scoreboard. It's the Thunder. They lead by 12. I got my money, I Welcome back, folks. We'll see if we're in store for a more tightly contested quarter as we move here into the second. And for the Thunder here, they've been putting on a show, guys. Yeah, they have been fantastic offensively, really coming out strong, and they've lit it up. Yeah, they have. I mean, very much in control and shooting the ball extremely well. And now, brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. Taking a look at the Thunder, Duran is out there with Steve Novak. Then there's Nick Collison. Then there's Perry Jones. And it's Singler in at the Kevin small Durant. forward. Four, three. Kevin Duran again last season, far and away the leader in points per game. Clark his fourth time with that distinction. And Kevin, you know with your study of the game and its history, only five players in NBA history have done that. And if you're talking total points over season, he's led the league in that category five straight. Isn't that amazing? It really is. To the paint. High marking shot. That's good. And the Thunder lead by 17. And uh, Miami shooting at a decent 44% clip here. Wade outside, over to the wing. Haslam, a screen on Durant. Wade, double team. And here's Chalmers for three. Miami no good on that time either. You know, so many games are decided by which team wins the rebound battle. And that's held true in this one so far, Steve. And even if it's only a modest advantage that they have in that category, it's still a, a significant factor. They're relying on their three-point shooting and getting pretty good results right now. Yeah. In fact, three of the last five makes are from beyond the arc. And Miami calls their first time out of the game. A different look for Miami. The wall dang has checked in for Josh McRoberts. And it's Dragic in for Dwayne Wade. And the Thunder making a switch here. Chalmers with the screen for Dragic. Again, the miss by the Heat. Really good offensive execution. Nice pick. Just couldn't get the shot to go. Boy, you love to see that as a basketball purist. Guy setting a good screen, 
and then getting the shot opportunity. Dang kicks to Chalmers. Back to Dang. Can they get it? Good. Dang's got 12. Durant with it. 33 points for him. You know, the NBA is a talent league, and it's hard to win in the NBA without superstar talent. And the Thunder are fortunate to have two superstars in Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook. Those two give them a chance to win no matter who they're facing up against or where they're playing. I'd say that shot was well within his range. <laughs> you think so? I mean, I was pretty good from two feet and in myself. That's a gimme there. Might as well just take it into his own hands and make that big lead even bigger. The Heat trail by 19. And you look at the star challenge for Oklahoma City. The eternal what if. Steve, how would this team be different if they'd held on to James Hart? Well, that's the question. I mean, to have three superstars, they would have been unstoppable offensively. As it is, they're hard enough to guard. Uh, but, you know, that's a question that will remain, you know, forever unanswered. Trying to get open is Ibaka. Again, Oklahoma City. He has really punished these defenders today. No matter who's been on him, he's been giving them medicine. Here's Chalmers. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. And, uh, oh, there's a whistle. He was going up for a layup. And while it looked like there was some contact, I wasn't sure they were going to call it a foul shot or not, but sure enough, they have. So he'll head to the free throw line. The Heat making a switch here. Bosch is checked in. Then for the Thunder, Steven Adams, he's checked in for Collison. Dion Waiters comes in for Roberson. And Russell Westbrook is subbed in for Durant. Westbrook can't get it to go. Miami's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Rogic against Westbrook. Rogic dishes to Chalmers. Dang gets a wide open look. That's good and so Chalmers with the assist. 16 points for Luol Dang. Well, offensively, he's taken a solid opening quarter and just built on it here in the second. And here's Dragic. Passes it to Chalmers. Dragic just screen on Westbrook. Chalmers passes to Bosch. For three, Westbrook pulls it in. Oklahoma City leading by 16. Russell Westbrook, maybe the most athletic and explosive point guard ever to play in the NBA. As some people would say, what about you? Well, you know, it's hard to say ever, but Russell Westbrook clearly plays with the kind of ferocity that I've not seen at the point guard position. The only guy that comes to mind is probably Derrick Rose prior to his injuries. I think Westbrook's aggression powering through contact probably gives him the edge. He plays almost a lot of torque. <laughs> A lot of talking. I mean, it's um, it's something to behold. I've not quite seen the guy at the point guard spot bring that kind of athleticism and um, speed and tenacity to the position. Well, I like how you mentioned Rose because I, I would agree, and that's a great, great way to kind of uh, figure out where he is when Rose is healthy. Yeah, exactly. The, the pre-injured Rose was... He was right in that same yeah, category. You got it. From the sideline, let's catch up with Doris Burke. Gentlemen, Scott Brooks is very close with his star, Kevin Durant, but that doesn't mean he gets any free perks at Katie's restaurant in Bricktown. Brooks said, I get nothing. I mean, give me a dessert, the peach cobbler, something, a sweet tea. You know, this guy's cheap. That's one thing about KD. For seven straight years, he's been cheap. Kevin, over to you. He stays consistent, Doris. Very efficient. Thank you. And Russell Westbrook, maybe the most explosive first step in the league. I mean, he doesn't just get an angle on his defender. He leaves them completely behind with a free run to launch all those shots around the rim. Well, Westbrook, once he blows by that first defender, he is absolutely fearless attacking the help defense. High-flying power dunks, finishes with both hands. Um, he's a bad, bad man. And Miami making a change here. Wade's checked in. Now he's playing with an edge here, playing extremely well offensively here in the second half. He dishes it to Bosch. He kicks to Chalmers. The rebound by Ibaka. It's a plus five advantage for them in the rebounding category after that board. Very steady work they've been doing on the interior, no question. And that's, uh, I think, the main reason they have this lead. And that one's good. Durant. Got to make a defensive adjustment here because he's...